August 2003, New York had a sudden tremendous blackout. It was horrific and businesses were scrambling. If they don't get their power back on, what's gonna happen? Well, one business that was scrambling, maybe more frantically than others, was Mr. Klein's ice cream factory because his warehouse needed to be frozen because otherwise all of his merchandise, all of his ice cream is out. And so Mr. Klein, he's waiting, he's nervous, he knows his freezers can manage to keep his products okay for 24 hours, but if it goes longer than that, they're out, they're done. Baruch Hashem, after a number of hours, Mr. Klein's power goes back on. And all his ice cream is saved. And then, listen, my friends, Mr. Klein, the owner of Klein's ice cream, turns to his son and says, wait, there are still many people and businesses here in New York that don't have power yet. What's going to be with them? Please find out, does Mahadran ice cream, our competitor, is their power back on? His son makes some phone calls and he finds out their power is not on. Mr. Klein calls the owner of Mahatra and he says, our power is back on. We can move around the items in our warehouse and we can make room for your products. Do you want to bring over your stuff to our freezer so that they don't get ruined, you don't lose money? Of course, the owner of Mahatra, he was blown away by that offer. And he packed all of his stuff into trucks and they drove them over to Mr. Klein's warehouse. And there he had his workers reorganize everything and they put the Mahadran ice cream into the Klein's ice cream freezers. And then they rewired, they paid electricians to rewire power to these trucks so that the trucks can act as even more freezer space for Mahadran. And with that, Mr. Klein saved his competitor, Mahadran ice cream from horrific monetary loss. And Mr. Klein said to his son, of course we're gonna offer them that. Do you know why? Because our competitors don't decide how much money we make. Hashem does. Because business doesn't decide how much money we make. Hashem does. And another Jew needs our help, we help him. We're not afraid about money, we're not afraid. Because we have Hashem, Hashem runs our life, nothing else. What an unbelievable story. He could have thought, this is my chance, let Mahadran go under, and then I'll be the successful singular ice cream. But he realized that's not true, that's not the way it works. Everything is a show. The only thing that matters is what Hashem wants. The only way we're going to get blessing is from Hashem. No other way. And the only goal in life is to connect to Hashem by doing His will. And it's an unbelievable thing every time you go in a store and every time you see the Kleins and Mahadran sitting there next to each other. Think about that. Look at these two competitors. They look like they're in competition. But you stare at those and you realize, no. This is the power of a Jew in our day of understanding who runs the world.